Hello friends, welcome back to Lanity Guide Tutorials. Some of our followers have asked to make a video on AWS VPC with step by step procedure of how to create a new virtual private cloud in AWS based on the requirement provided by the company from scratch along with subnets, route tables, internet gateway and how to associate all these components. So here is a video. Before creating any infrastructure in AWS cloud, we should have some plan about the infrastructure and architecture designs like how many IPs we want for our resources, how many subnets to be created and in which availability region and zones should we use this VPC. So we should have answer for all these questions. To make you understand better, let's use this sample VPC architecture as my recommend and I will show you how to build the same infrastructure design in AWS cloud. So this is a sample architecture diagram of a AWS VPC that is Amazon Web Service Virtual Private Cloud. So what is Virtual Private Cloud? It is a virtual network that can be created in public cloud when you have AWS account with sufficient access. It is logically isolated from other virtual networks in the AWS cloud based on our requirement it can be created. You can specify an IP address range for the VPC, you can add subnets, you can associate security groups and you can configure the route tables so that we can launch our AWS resources like Amazon EC2 instances within this VPC. So this architecture require one VPC with 10.0.0.0 slash 16 IP range. Within that, we need to create two subnet. One is public subnet and other one is private subnet with 10.0.1 for public and 10.0.2 for private. Resources which will be created within public subnet will have an IP range of 10.0.1 and within private subnet resources will have a range of IP that is 10.0.2 then this public subnet is attached to an internet gateway so any resources created within this public subnet will have a internet access that is why we call this subnet as public subnet why because it is connected to the internet gateway but any resources within private subnet will not have access to external world so this is the actual difference of public and private subnet then how can we protect our AWS resource from internet world? AWS has multiple layers of security to avoid this kind of attacks and also to control the traffics like security groups and network access control list. I will explain you all these things while creating the network architecture. Related document of this video and other links are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links to understand this session much better from basics. If you still didn't subscribe to our channel, do subscribe now and click nearby bell icon to get the updates immediately. Let's get started. In order to create and manage any AWS services, we must have some valid users created with IAM policies, else you will not have access to these AWS resources. Once you have the access, log into the AWS Management Console. This is the sign in page where you have to enter your email address along with password. And you will be asked to enter your MFI code that is on your mobile you have to register that Google Authenticator through which you can get that code. And this is your main dashboard of AWS Management Console. You can select any region as per your requirement but I am logged into US East North Virginia region. Once you are confirmed with your region go to service and and type VPC in this search box it will give you the list of services which is matching with this pattern so here you click this VPC. This will take you to the VPC dashboard so this is the VPC dashboard where you could see all these summary of your VPC here I have no VPC, no subnet, nothing is created because I have deleted my default VPC. Here go to your VPC, click create VPC. Here is a page where you have to give all your details about your VPC. Give some name for this VPC. Like this you can create n number of VPC within your AWS account. For example if you wanted to create a dedicated VPC for eBay for example then you can just give a name something like eBay VPC like that 
so I just give my demo VPC IP range as per the diagram it must be 10.0.0.0 slash 16 range and let it be the default one we don't want IPv6 and tenancy let it be the default so just click create so you will get the confirmation message like the following VPC was created and this is your VPC ID just close this message once you have created new VPC you will see all the VPCs available in this region including the newly created one my demo VPC and its VPC ID and the IP range and all these details once this is done let's create internet gateway so internet gateway it enables your instances to connect to the internet through the Amazon network so without this internet gateway you will not be able to connect to the external world so click create internet gateway here you have to give just the name and just click create here if you see the state it is detached so we need to attach this internet gateway to our VPC so just right click and attach to VPC or you just select this and go to actions here also you have the same options so attach to VPC here it will ask you to which VPC you have to attach this internet gateway if you are having multiple VPCs obviously you have to select the VPC right so here just pull down and here you will have the VPC ID as well as the name what you have given while creating the VPC so just click my demo VPC that's it attach it is attached to our VPC let's create subnets so we need two subnets one is public subnet and private subnet so a subnet is nothing but it is a range of IP address in your VPC so you can launch AWS resources into a specified subnet use a public subnet for resources that must be connected to the internet and use a private subnet for the resources that won't be connected to the internet go to subnets we have no subnet so far create subnet name let me give public subnet so that it will be easy for us to identify what subnet it is so name again you have to select the VPC availability zone is nothing but you have a different different zone in each region if you have any preference just click here you can select any one of this if you have no preference then just let it be AWS itself it will select any one of it so IPv4 for public subnet this is our range create it is created close this now create private subnet select the VPC here the range should be 10.0.2.0.24 create so we have created two subnets and these two are attached to this VPC and this is the range of it let's create route tables by default when you have created a VPC automatically one route table and one network access control list will be get created so you can use this route table itself as any one of your route table let's say public route table it is already created so just rename this name so that will be easy to understand either you click edit here itself you can give private RT and click tick mark else right click add or edit tags or action add or edit tags anything should be fine so I just click edit tags here create tag key name and what is the name public RT which means the public route table let's create private route table click create route table select the VPC click create close this box we have public route table and private route table now select the public route table this is where you have to add all your public subnet and your internet gateway so that this will become the public network here click routes these are the entries it has just click edit routes click add route 
from any IP and targets select the internet gateway what you have created that is my demo internet gateway and click save routes successfully edited just close this so here in this public route we have one more entry that is internet gateways attached so this become a public network now again we need to attach the public subnet to this public route so go to subnet association here edit subnet associations here you will see all the subnets are available here just select the public one don't select the private just select the public one because this is a public route table and click save now go to private route table here you don't need to add any routes just go to subnet associations to associate your private subnet to this private route table edit subnet select the private one and click save and also we need to create security groups and NACL so that we can protect our AWS resources from internet so this is the security where you have network ACLs and security groups network ACL is a security layer within the network level and security groups is a security at the instance level so you have to attach any of these security groups to the instances so first you create a security group already it is created the default one so what you have to do is just rename it here you have inbound roles and outbound roles so this is where you have to edit the rules inbound which means the traffic which is coming to instances from outside network and this is the outbound rules from EC2 the traffic which is going to outside the network so edit rules so inbound rules control the incoming traffic that is allowed to reach the instances add one more rule select all traffic and here in the custom you can give my IP so that only from your IP will be able to access these instances if your instance is having port number 22 or 80 or 443 anything all ports we can access all these instances because we have selected all traffics if you want to restrict that too then you have to select the particular port for example if you want to take only SSH connection to that instances then you can use only SSH so I give all traffic for now so that I will not have any problem to access my instances and make sure you have selected my IP if you give anywhere around the world anybody can access your instances so this is not recommended so please not use this anywhere in any of these rules so my IP this is my IP so just copy this we can use this IP in NACL here you can give some description about this particular IP what it is save rules now go to NACL here also it is created by default so just rename this click inbound rules by default they are allowing all traffic from anywhere this is not safe so edit inbound rules just remove this and replace with your IP for now so nobody can access you are easy to via this VPC so we have edited our NACL rules to not allow anybody except this IP if you want to add more IPs then you can just click add rules click save now so based on this diagram we have created our VPC in AWS account let's create two EC2 one is within this public subnet and other one is within private subnet let's see which one I'm able to access it obviously I will be able to access the EC2 which is created within public subnet because internet gateway is attached but I will not be able to access this EC2 but so go to service EC2 click instances launch instances I will go with free tire only let it be these Amazon AMIs number of instances one for now because I am going to attach these instances to particular subnet that is public subnet auto assign public IP yes by default it is disabled so make it enable 
and these instances will be created under this VPC if you have many VPC it will show you the list you select the particular VPC yeah rest all ok just next add tax ok security group this is where you have to select your security group to associate with this instances here don't create the new security group if you want to create then you can create it but already we have edited the rules so select the existing one here select the correct security group and here it is listing the list of rules we have allowed only from this IP for all traffic so I'd be able to do ping I, I would be able to connect to these instances everything I can do it so review and launch let me create a new one download keep this file in a safe place because once it is deleted you cannot be recovered so better you add it in a version control or something launch instances instance is creating meantime I am just giving the name it is created and running state so if you see it has got IP public IP that is 126.207.239 and we have attached this EC2 with public subnet let's create one more we'll add these instances to private subnet auto as in public IP enable anyway it is in private subnet doesn't matter even if you have public IP nobody can access that from external world rest all ok just review and launch yeah, before that we need to add uh, security group select the existing one so only difference I have done here is one EC2 I have used on public subnet and the other one I have used in private subnet even to this EC2 I have given complete access from my IP let's see what happens review and launch choose an existing one I'm going to use the my demo key same key this is a private EC2 it has also got public IP and public got this IP if you see the VPC local IP the public got in this range this is what we have defined in the one series right and for the private two series so both are running now copy this public IP and try to ping I'm getting the replay from that EC2 now go to private and copy this public IP so you will not be able to access that EC2 even the security group is allowed for your IP the reason behind is this EC2 is lying on private subnet where the internet gateway is not attached so that's it so exactly similar to this diagram we have created our VPC and subnet internet gateway and route tables hope you got an idea keep practicing and have fun how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net